Okay, hello and welcome. My name is James and I'm going to uh, show you today how to add uh, a border to the outside of a design and a fill stitch on the inside to uh, mimic uh, a patch. And the way that we're going to do this, I have uh, my designs on the screen here and uh, we're going to go in. The design uh, on the screen already, um, once I select it here, okay, um, everything is uh, separated. So the first thing that I want to do, I want to go in and select everything on the file that I want to add the border around. And I'll navigate here with my select tools. I'm going to select the polygon select, which will let me draw a polygon around design like this. I'm going to press enter to select it. I'm going to navigate up top here to the arrange drop menu and I'm going to group those items together now. So when I select them, I select the entire uh, palm tree, uh, the sand and the water at the same time. At this point here, I'm going to go in. I just want to measure to make sure that I have the distance correct from the outer edge that you see here. And so I'm going to press M as in Mary. I'm going to measure this distance here. And this is, uh, I would say about three millimeters to the outside of it. And so as I go here and select, I'm going to navigate here to my simple offset tool. And um, because I want to add a border around the outside of this, and as I left click, it's going to give me my simple offsets toolbox on the screen. Now, and I want the distance from the outer edge of my design uh, to be uh, three millimeters from, from the edge of it. So I'll place three millimeters here, which is already there now. I want one offset here, okay? And I can choose um, if I want to put, uh, create holes inside the areas here uh, that are voided. And I don't want to put, uh, any holes in there, I just want to fill it in completely. So I'll leave this unchecked. For my object type here, of course, I'm, as I click the down arrow, I've chosen satin column C, and I'm going to click OK like this. It will go in, it actually put the border there. Now, the inside here, it added it also. It's just as simple, if you don't want it in there, just select it and just press delete like this. I want this to be uh, wider, my border. And uh, I want it to be the same width as this one. So as I select this one and go into the properties of it here, it's two millimeters wide. So I'll zoom in, rolling my mouse button forward. I will select this, go into my object properties of this and make this two millimeters wide, 2.0. Press enter, okay? And I could also go in now and change the color as well, okay? And so um, having said that, now, what if uh, the customer calls back and says, you know, I want to fill on the inside of this also. And so, not a problem. All I have to do is go in and I'm going to select the outline that I just put in. I'm going to press Control D as in dog on the keyboard to duplicate it. And if I go to my color object list and look down here, it's been duplicated. I will navigate here to my colors. I just want to change the color of it here. And I'm also going to change um, what the stitch type is here. So I'm going to navigate here to my outline tool and I'm going to select run. Okay. It automatically goes in. It automatically uh, changes that to a running stitch. Now at this point, to add the fill, I'm going to go in, I'm going to navigate up top and I'm going to choose tatami. It fills it in just like this. At this point, I can go in, I can change my color, and I could also go in and uh, grab this and move this under the 37. But even before that, um, I have to also get everything else in there. And because of this now, I'll just go in, I'll have to go in and move this before the uh, sand fill, like this. And once that's put in there, now the other question is um, the hole, I need to have a hole in the fill here with this, okay, and I could do that by simply navigating over 
and choosing this tool. Um, this tool allows us to go in and put um, holes in something to add holes. It allows us to um, click an object with holes and remove the holes here and to fill in a separate section of an object if it has a hole already in it. So I'm going to choose add holes and at this point here I can go to the inside like this and I just want to add a hole in here so that I'm not stitching uh, complex fill stitches on top of complex fill stitches. And I have enough space here to do this with like this. As I go in, following the inside shapes like you see here, here, there, and here. As I press enter, okay, for the first one, and I'm done, so I'll press enter a second time. Okay, and so what just happened is when I click this now and drag it, I've added the hole to the fill here just like this. Okay, I'm going to undo this to put it back. And so that's how you would actually go in and add the border and add a fill after the fact. Okay, uh, I want to thank you for joining me uh, for this. And as always, we ask you to visit us at uh, www.willcomeamerica.com. Thank you and have a great day.